Hello and welcome to Cooking with Queen V. I know it's been a while since you've seen an upload from me, but guys, I got something I want to share today. I want to show people how to fry chicken gizzards. I have been to several restaurants and I order their fried gizzards and they're they're very flavorful. They have nice seasoning on it and then the little coating and everything and fried right. However, the gizzards are rubbery and hard because you're taking them right out of the pack and you're throwing them into the grease. That is not how you cook chicken gizzards. These are some frozen chicken gizzards I've taken out of the freezer just to give you an idea what they look like. Um, let me just pan over here and show you. This is how gizzards look when they're cooked. Okay, so this is just some, uh, I guess the gut lines of the chicken. I got to do my research on the gizzards because I've heard different conflicting stories here. But anyway, it's the chicken gizzards. It's not the liver, it's the, it's the gizzards, okay? All right, so what I had to do is I cooked the gizzards first. That's how you fry chicken gizzards. Cook them first. These are ready to eat right now. And they were cooked with some yellow pepper and some uh, orange bell pepper and um, season with a little salt and a little tenderizer. And once they come to a boil and they, they've uh, cooked through, you know, tender, then you can cool them off. Uh, I actually waited a day. So once they get, you know, once they cool off and everything, then you can fry them. And, and what I did was I put together my egg wash, which is one egg, some milk, so I'll put together my egg wash because I'm going to run it through the egg wash and then I'm going to put it through my seasoned flour and I'm going to drop it in my canola oil, which is in my wok. Okay. Now, again, you cook the gizzards, make egg wash, season your flour and I sift my flour. I do not use just straight flour out the bag. I sift it because I want it nice and uh, I want the texture to be flaky and... and crunchy. I don't want I don't want knots in my you know when you don't sift your flour you have those knots on your on your fried foods you know you probably had some chicken that had hard pieces on it because they didn't sift the flour well. Anyway sift the flour. I seasoned my flour with off brand seasonings or you can get some special brands. You can create your own season mix but if you see here I have a mixture of different seasons because I try not to use straight salt raw salt on my food so I just put together some different seasoning mixture and, uh, and I put it in my flour so here we have garlic powder and then we have the complete season which has a lot of different little herbs it's very tasty this has a lot of different herbs and spices that's mixed together um, it's good in anything I even tried it in a fried egg and it was just delicious we have our uh, garlic pepper paprika and some soul food seeds. I'm not sure. Oh, I messed up there. I'm not sure where uh, where all this is sold, but the soul food season is delightful. Kind of kind of like seasoned salt, but has a different little flavor going on. And then at last, I have my chicken season. So I put all that in my flour, and I'm heavy-handed, so I put a lot of it in my flour, mixed it all together here, as you can see. Okay. Now I'm gonna take my gizzards. And I'm going to run them through my egg wash. So I'll take one gizzard, and, well, you can take several, and just put them over here in your, gizzard, in your egg wash. Make sure your hands are clean. And then I just kind of stir them about here. Get them good and wet there, yeah. And then I'm going to get some tongs, and I'm going to pick them up and put them in the grease. Let's see if we can grab these tongs without losing you here yeah I, I don't like when people fix the chicken gizzards and they all hard and rubbery I like food to taste good I like food so I need my food to taste good I want it to look good cuz I want it to make me feel good I just like food 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 okay so after we take it out and run through our egg wash here I'm just taking it out of my egg wash putting it over in my flour and uh, just kind of mix it together there and if you want to double wash and double batter, you can do that too. All you do is just when you put it in there, 
in your flour and then you just take it and you can dip it right back into your egg wash and then you can take it right back and put it in your flour that gives it a, a, a thicker coating nice little crush you know I like if you like crust okay let's start dropping some here and uh, make sure your oil is good and hot Yeah, I like the way that sounds. I'm going to put a few more in here. The wok I like because it holds a lot. And again, I don't have a camera person, so I'm doing all this with one hand, guys. I'm filming with one hand and trying to talk and cook at the same time. This is going to be so delicious. And um, I tell you, this goes well with scrambled eggs. It goes well with fries or whatever your heart desire. If you want to pick it for breakfast, you can do it for breakfast. You can do it for lunch. You can do it for dinner. You can do it as a snack. It doesn't take long to cook because the meat is already done. So all you want is a nice brown, crispy outside. Okay, just to give you guys an idea, let's, let's take a look at what we have here. It's, it's frying already. As you can see, it's already starting to turn brown. Okay, sorry if the camera's all over the place. I'm going to flip one so you can have a look and see. See, once that baby turns nice and brown, see how pretty that is? Once it turns nice and brown, you can flip it there. And, especially if the grease is good and hot. And get it nice and brown and once it's done you can indulge now this doesn't take long like I say once it gets brown on both sides then you're ready to take it up and uh, make sure you got a place to um, to put your gizzard some type of draining bread or power or I don't know, whatever you use, if you fancy, you might have a the type of uh, pan that, that drains the grease. But I'm going to tell you the trick to keeping it crunchy is when you take it out of the grease and you dry it off on the towel, put it on something hard, whether it's a tin pan, uh, like so, or a plate, or anything that's not uh, soft, like the paper towel, because... The paper towel makes it uh, soggy, like it doesn't keep it crunchy. Okay, I think this is ready to come up here. Just want to, oh, that's going to cook a little longer there. Make sure your fire, is, your, your fire is like medium, kind of medium high, not too high, but just like you would if you was frying chicken. And you want to be careful. Um, don't just walk away when you're frying something like this here because it's small pieces. It doesn't take long. Somebody's emailing me. So it doesn't take long for it to cook. Alright, let's see what we're looking like. like as, I, as I said before, they, these are already done. So you never have to worry about, you know, is it done? Can I eat it? Or is it... Yeah, you can cook it and, and you can fry it and get it nice and brown and, you know, it doesn't even have to be dark brown on both sides. As long as it's, get a, you know, as long as you get a nice little crunch, little crust going around and you're okay. Okay, I'm going to take this little piece up here. And we'll go ahead and take this first piece up that we were looking at. You know, it's still a little light on that side. That doesn't mean, doesn't mean that it's raw. It is cooked and has been fried well. Didn't have as much flour on that side. And uh, see how frigid that is? We're gonna get that and we'll put it over on the paper towel. Just kind of dry the grease off a little bit of it, off of it. And we'll put it on this tin pan so it stays crunchy. It's not the prettiest dish, 
but it's a delicious dish. Again, these are chicken gizzards. Do not cook them. If you're gonna fry them, do not fry them raw. Do not take these out of the paper and fry them, people. And I even tell the restaurant that, yes, I am that bold. I tell them at the restaurant, do not take those out the pack and fry them. If you want to sell these things, you need to cook them first. Once you cook them, then you can take them, run them through the egg wash, put them in the flour, already seasoned, or you can season them beforehand, it's up to you, and then drop them in the grease. And then you're going to have a... Mm -hmm.